Hi everyone, so I'm back with another great off-campus opportunity and this one is with Uber. So if you don't know by now, Uber is hiring for their software engineering internship program. So this is a great opportunity for all of you guys that are looking for an internship because I don't need to tell you Uber is one of the best companies to work at with one of the best pays and perks in the industry. So in this video, we'll be talking more about the role itself. We'll be talking about the eligibility and of course, I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to get shortlisted and eventually crack the interviews. So everything that you need for this is going to be within the video. So have some patience, watch the entire video and then apply ASAP. The link to apply, of course, is going to be in the description box. And if you're someone who's having difficulty in off-campus placements, if you're having any sort of issues in your off-campus placement journey, if you're having issues in you getting your resume shortlisted, or if you're having issues in finding the perfect roadmap for yourself, then you can connect one-to-one -one with me, where I will personally help you and guide you and make sure that you get all of the information and the knowledge that you need in order to crack your dream company. So you can connect 21 with me. The link for that is going to be in the description box. All right. So coming back to this opportunity, like I said, that Uber is hiring for this soft engineering intern program. And this is going to be from January to June. So it is going to be around six months internship. And of course, it is going to be a great learning opportunity for you guys. And of course, if you perform well, you have a chance of getting a PPO with Uber which is obviously like a dream scenario. So let's talk about the eligibility first, and then we'll dive deeper into the role, the requirements, and of course, the tips for the shortlisting. So the eligibility is pretty simple. As long as you're enrolled in your bachelor's degree and you are graduating in 2026, then you are eligible for this, okay? So if you're graduating in 2026 and you're available for a six months internship, then you are eligible for this, okay? So again, if you're a 2026 grad, you are eligible. That is pretty much eligibility. If you still have any doubt, then feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll be able to clarify it there for you guys. Okay. So, and one more thing, the location for this is going to be in Bangalore. So the Uber office in Bangalore, that is pretty much where you will be working. Location is going to be in Bangalore. All right. Now that we're done with the eligibility, let's talk more about the role, the technical requirements, and of course the shortlisting criteria and how you can help your resume getting shortlisted. So the role is for software engineering intern. But of course, it can be into various domain. You can go into web dev, you can go into Android. Of course, it depends on your resume as well. Based on that, they will allot you different teams. So it's not that you're going to be in a specific team. It depends on your resume skills. Various factors will be there. Based on that, you will be getting a team. And of course, based on that, you will be getting the domain and the tech stack that you're working for. The point I'm trying to make here is that they're not asking for any specific tech stack, which means that it only matters the quality of your resume and the quality of the work and the products that you have done. It's not necessary that you need to know X, Y, Z tech stack to get selected. Okay. The team that they'll give you will depend on your resume. Okay. So you don't need to have proficiency in a particular tech stack, but still I'll tell you what are the things that you can keep in your resume that will give you a bit of an edge at least, right? Which is still better than having nothing in your resume. So that brings me to the main point that is how do you make your resume get shortlisted or how do you improve your chances of getting your resume shortlisted because that is the most important thing right the biggest issue i feel that job seekers face is not of cracking the interview but rather getting shortlisted right that is the biggest issue that people face so there are some general things that you can do that will improve your chances of getting your resume shortlisted so let's start out the basic level and then we'll go to the more advanced level so at the basic level the first thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that you have a good resume template. I still, of course, in my resume reviews, I still see a lot of resumes that are using some Canva template, some photo template, some photo jet template. Don't do that. Use a clean overleaf resume template. I'll give you guys a link of a good template in the description box. Please use something like that. Avoid using any fancy, good looking or any, you know, beauty fire sort of a template don't use any of that use a clean formal looking overleaf template it's not at all difficult to use you can just edit it and make it your own okay so that is the first thing the most basic thing is having a good resume template now the template may not make that much of a difference for the ats but of course eventually a human will also look at it so it's important that the template is good right and of course talking about ats you need to have a good ats score that is something that you cannot be ignoring now, I'm not saying you need to have 100% or you need to have 95%. Of course, the more it is, the better. But at the bare minimum, to be on the safe side, I highly suggest have above 70-75%. That is like the bare minimum. 
it should be above that so there are various websites you can use to check your ATS score you can use resume worded you can use enhance CV and there are multiple things you can do to improve your ATS score like using proper grammar adding quantifying numbers having a pass friendly template there are multiple things you can do you can research about it this video is not entirely about that but the point here is that you need to have a good ATS score okay now of course now that the basics is done the next thing going to a bit more advanced level is the content you have of your resume like I previously told you here you don't need to have any particular tech stack if you have full stack in your resume well and good if you have data in your resume well and good if you have Android in your resume well and good but you need to have proficiency in one programming language right it can be anything C++, C++ Java Python Ruby Go anything is fine but you need to have experience in at least one two or three programming languages right again it depends if you have two or three programming languages in your resume it looks good but it's not necessary that the more the better right it's not a thing like that that more the better but if you have one object oriented programming language and you have something like python and java and you have one for of course your project then of course that gives off a good feel in the resume right so once the programming language is done of course the next thing and the most important part of your resume I cannot stress this enough the most important part of your resume is the project section you cannot be lacking off or lagging behind in your project section you need to have some absolutely high quality projects see no matter what the domain is right whether you're doing a web dev whether you're doing android dev, whether you're doing python ml whatever you're doing there are some features that your project should have it should have a unique name it should have a unique it should have some unique features it should be deployed if possible if you're able to deploy it it should be deployed everything should be modularized it should have a bit of complexity it should not be a single page project it should have a bit of complexity right all of these things are very 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 important and many times people overlook it okay so whenever you're making a project you need to make sure that it is high quality and it is ticking all of the check boxes that i just mentioned because once you have a high quality project it will help you in getting shortlisted not only here but pretty much in every company because i already told you the most important part as a fresher as a college student the most important part of your resume is going to be the project section apart from this apart from the project section if you have any certifications if you have any company based certifications added in your resume don't add any udemy coursera certification or youtube through certifications don't do that because they may not matter as much but any company backed certifications like if you have an oracle certification you have an ibm certification that matters a lot so if you have a company backed certification put it of course uber is a company that cares about your coding and problem solving skills and of course the focus on that even in the interview so if you have good coding and problem solving skills showcase that in the resume if you have a good rating showcase that in the resume if you've done a lot of dsa problems showcase that in the resume apart from that if you've done any hackathons if you have any previous internship experience anything that you've done that is extra that basically puts you apart from the candidates from the other candidates showcase it in your resume okay so of course there are multiple factors that goes into making the perfect resume it's not just one rule there are multiple factors so you have to figure out what those factors are that set you apart what are the things that you are good in and then you showcase it in the right way in your resume and of course this is something that will help you in every company's interviews or every company shortlisting not just uber okay the good thing here is that they're not asking for any particular tech stack what they're asking for some high quality projects some extra features if possible in your resume and of course a decent level of coding skills that is basically what they are expecting from you okay so i talked a lot about how to get your resume shortlisted now let's talk a bit about the interviews so i have made a couple of videos about uber's interview experience the entire interview process make sure that you give it a watch and you'll be able to understand pretty much how the interview process of uber is and you can prepare accordingly but in a nutshell it is going to be around dsa no beating around the bush there it is going to be around dsa you will be facing dsa problems and not on the easier side again not beating around the bush you will be facing medium to hard lead good medium hard level problems right not too hard but around medium to hard range okay so you'll be facing dsa you will be facing problems from your resume you'll be facing questions from your resume you'll be facing questions about the tech stack that you're working with you'll be facing of course questions of about development and cs fundamentals those topics but the primary part of the interviews is going to be dsm so i'll be giving you guys some coding questions some practice questions 
and some more things in the description box that you can use to get a good idea of how to prepare for the interviews and what the interviews are going to be like. So everything that you need is going to be within the description box, of course, along with the link to apply. Now, don't waste too much time in applying because a lot of times these openings close very soon. So as soon as you see this video, make sure that you apply ASAP. Don't wait any longer. Of course, the link to apply is in the description box. First, prepare a proper resume and then apply ASAP. Don't wait too long for this. And that's pretty much it. And if you don't get selected, you don't have to worry. You'll be seeing a lot more openings right now. It's going to be the peak time for hiring. Like I keep repeating, October, November, December, all the way till January, you'll be seeing a lot of hiring because majority of the internships, majority of the job roles will start from either January or from March or April. So you'll be seeing a lot of hirings during this time. Make sure that you're subscribed and make sure you join my WhatsApp channel so you do not miss out on any hiring updates and you can connect one to one with me for any personalized guidance as well. All of the links are in the description box. Make sure that you subscribe and let's see you in the next video.